Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel yet again. I am Amalgam Ash, and this is WoW Classless Ascension, a private server that aims to remove all of the classes, or at least their restrictions on how you build your player from World of Warcraft, uh, or to be more precise, classic World of Warcraft. So, I think WoW Classic is up to the Burning Legion, and that is what we are able to do. Uh, you know, if I if I get that far, but I need to fight and kill eight kobold lab ugh, laborers. Excuse me. No, kill me. No, kill me. Don't worry, I will. The workers and the laborers are different stories. I, I don't get any credit for killing the workers at this point. No problem. Uh, we are aiming to finish some more quests, level up, and apply any skill points we get towards our hopefully unconventional enough to be worth it build. I might actually look at some build guides. I, that's something that I didn't think about doing. I don't know why. I guess because I didn't really think about classless while having build guides, and this has been out for a fair number of years, so it, it stands to reason that they have some in-depth class guides. Uh, when I say class, I mean, of course, the class you build by trading your skill points in for various abilities and skills, both passive and active. So you basically take on a range of what uh, any two or three or however many you want classes, abilities, and make a build that is completely OP, like this bear is just wrecking these kobolds left and right, or you can make a build that's completely broken in the bad way. I'm not getting any experience for these buttholes, so I'm gonna head back, talk to Marshall McBride, again and hopefully that will unlock the next set of quests in 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 my next destination because I mentioned it in the last episode <sighs> excuse me but it is entirely set up where like one area they want you to they kind of set you up to do all of the quests in a given area wow I, I really overshot that and then you, you kind of slingshot into a new area you do a huge circle, or what amounts to a big circle, get back to the beginning area, and then you've got some storyline stuff that goes on. King's Honor, friend. King's Honor, friend. I actually don't know what I want. Um, the boots, I guess. Well, the boots are the boots are male, and I think male is male okay on a druid. I don't I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not wearing any gloves. I guess I, I'll take gloves. Well met. All right, buddy, report to Goldshire. Hell yes, I'll report to Goldshire. Uh, take his documents to Marshal Mc... Duggan, 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 in Goldshire. All right, so we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna trek. Do I actually have any, any points right now? Do I have two ability essences? Uh, I don't know. Can I spend them? Yes. Yes, I can. Now I can play this character like a um, a damage over time character. I can get. Ooh, you know what I want? I want a buddy. I want like an animal friend. Is that a shaman thing? Is that a thing at all in Classic WoW? Somebody out there's yelling at me. I just know it. Uh, only one aspect at a time. Teaches you Tame Beast. Oh, this is it. Tame Beast. I can't learn that yet, though, can I? No, that costs six. We're going to save up for Tame Beast. I think that that's indispensable. So, looks like I'm not going to be doing any upgrades probably this playthrough unless I just level up a crap load. Because I can't, right? Like, if I, if I change back, you won't let me. No, you just killed him. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, where? 
am I? Why am I running along the back of a giant courtyard wall? Hello. Hi. Safe travels. All right, see, so we'll, we'll pick up his quest and then we're just gonna launch ourselves out of here. We're gonna run through Elwyn Forest on my character, Cyrilled. Cyrilled Haywood in contemporary vanilla WoW. I play Cyrilled as a Worgen Druid and I just have her in all these different animal forms. It just made sense to me. It's like, why not just be all of the animals, you know? And I really like her, her human form. I think the human forms that they had when I made her looked better than the regular human forms. All right, it begins. How we have a consumed orphan matron. Why did you have a mask on? I. The headless horseman attacks. The fire threatened to consume the whole village. What will we do? What will we do? Uh, is this an event? Like a a, a a repeatable event thing? I gotta turn this one in. I'm I'm, I'm running around playing Light fire fireman. I'm so sorry. Hi, I'm an acting deputy with the Stormwind Marshals. All right. Be careful. Ooh. I got some achievements. New feature unlocked. No more free resets. Ah, screw you. Oh, battlegrounds. Fear. Sap. Entangling roots. Nature's grass. Flame shock. I can't read that stuff fast enough. Aspect of the cheetah. Nice. Sunder armor. Dispel cursed. Polymorph. Uh, rock biter. Meditate. I don't know, man. Just. Oh, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Pick lock? I'm quite overwhelmed. Seems like you've received your first scroll of unlearning. Scroll of unlearning is a currency. Okay. That's annoying. Oh. She's cool. Alright, welcome to Hero Architect. I think I finally got into something that is proprietary to the WoW Ascension idea. Hero Architect is a powerful tool trough which knowledge of veterans of ascension is available to you from the very first steps of your adventures try out new builds share build okay right 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 simply choose a build and enjoy the gameplay it provides with new build abilities and talents or share build now i can click this button that says no i'd like to pick abilities and talents myself but um that kind of implies that i'm not open to the idea of just something interesting so you know what let's do a little searching I found one that I think I like called the Druid of Rot. Now I want to see if that shows up here. No? What if I just type Rot? No, that does not seem to... <laughs> I don't know that the search is going to work the way that I want it to. Well, let's look through the, the list, huh? We have Beginning Dungeon Healer. More dots leveling. Build 1 to 70. That's cool. Are you a fan of knives? Nice. Starter Dungeon Bear LFG. Holy Caster Leveling. Bring the Thunderclap. Lightbringer. Leveling Titan Grip. Boom Chicken. Rip Shot Cat Hunter. Uh, the Summoner. Kind of like that. Ranger. It's Alive. The Incinerator. The Bulwark. Dell Cleric of the Old Gods. I, I guess I... Mm, mm, this is tough, man tree heal the necromancer dot and run with pet for pvp no thanks we're not going to be doing any pvp at all okay just so you know i i respect about half of these the other half it looked like they they didn't really put the details in to be helpful so we're just gonna we're gonna pick stuff ourselves Scroll of unlearning is a currency used to unlearn spells or talents. Gotcha. Well, again, uh, ability essence is three. I, I really do want to save up for what uh, what the hunter has, which is tame beast. But I do have one talent essence, so that is active with. Uh, um, um, aspect of the hawk 
Reduces the cast time of Wrath and Starfire spells. Increases the damage and healing done by the periodic spell damage and healing effects of your druid spells by 2%. The talents are pretty, pretty proprietary to the classes from which they originate. Um, a lot of them are anyway. Like Death's Grasp here for, for the Warlock. Increases your chance to hit with spells by 1%. Increases your spell haste by 1%. Oh, that's actually fine. But then like this one, increases the damages, the damage done by your Curse of Agony by 5%. If I'm not interested in having Curse of Agony, that, that trait doesn't really help me. Heroic Strike, Parry. So, Endurance Training increases the health of your tamed pet by 3% and your total health by 1%. That is actually kind of useful. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. We'll go ahead and nab it. Uh, looks like when we're level 15 we'll have all of these new options. I thought maybe they were chained up to the, to the top ones, but I'm still fine with this. Looks like these go all the way down to level 60, so that's great. Yep, and we're just going to accept all three of the quests that you have. And we'll go ahead and I guess we'll accept your quest too. You need something? Murlocs. I'll take it. Wait, maybe? 484 experience? Yeah, why not? See you later. Good day to you. Have a good one. It is here. I'm just going to accept a crap load of quests and then get moving. Top notch voice acting, I have to say. I don't want this bucket anymore. It won't be long now. I'll actually be back into a Final Fantasy XIV kick. I haven't really played any of that on my channel. Uh, it's really big right now. It would be a little bit remiss of me not to, but I really just want to play for the sake of playing. I, I still need to get through all of the Stormblood post-quest stuff with Endwalker coming up. I'm really, really behind. But I also just think... What do I gotta do? Scout through the Fargo Deep Mine. That's you, right? I hope that's you. I hope that that's it. No, that's the vineyards. We need the mine. We need the mine! Gotta be, gotta be this giant hill. There has to be an opening on the other side. Yes, yes. Shut up. Ow. All right, we got a little bit of help from a nice Draenei lady. All the Draenei ladies are nice, aren't they? They wave their hips at you in greeting. Well, I've scouted through the mine, but I, I need the 10 gold dust. I don't know what it is about World of Warcraft. I always feel so overwhelmed by everything that's going on whenever I play. It's hard to think that I've, I, I'm in any kind of control. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Everybody's dead and they're staying dead. <laughs> Small green pouch. Aw, yeah. I guess I'll just spam the kobolds outside until I have the gold dust needed, and then I'll have three quests worth of junk done. Ooh, I got some malachite. Ooh, it's another mine entrance, and the people aren't dead here. Call me the backdoor bear, baby. That's... Oh, God, don't ever call me that. Haha, uh -huh. I killed two big kobolds, and you didn't even know, dummies. Haha, uh -huh. I've lost my way, and I'm not sure how to get out. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a bunch of kobolds outside. Yay! Good god. Those fools are inside the mines, spamming those poor kobolds. The real kobold is the 
the ones we slay outside along the way. I need four more gold dust, but I'm going to go ahead and run back, which I know is very inefficient and turn in these quests because I feel like I, I'm really close to leveling up and I want to see how many skill points I get. I scouted your damn mine. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. For the Alliance. I got a talent essence and an ability essence. So now I have to go kill kobolds. No. No? I see that the talents also change based on what subclass you pick. What is that, the discipline? I know there's a name for it. Maybe it is subclass. So maybe I need to just pay a little bit more attention to that. And I'll probably wait just a little bit longer before I spend this talent essence just to get something in the level 15 tier instead of blowing it all in my level 10 tier stuff. Yeah, I see they're still calling it the love rocket in Ascension. I, I can respect that. Three hundred and sixty-five pages of vanity collections, nine items per page. That's almost thirty-six hundred items. It's like thirty-three hundred items. That's a lot. All right. At this point, we can just follow the road west, and I think turn in another quest again not being the most efficient I'm, I'm mainly concerned with like leveling and figuring out which quest is the msq stuff and then kind of just following the msq while while i level so that i can take advantage of getting the ability points and talent essences and things like that so that i can really start building because obviously this is going to be a grind fest uh, as far as collecting different talents and abilities and deciding which ones to affix to my classless character in order to come up with something that's a lot of fun to play. I know that I want to have the different forms, but I think right now I'm just okay with like a tank bear <laughs> form. And I think that I'd like to be able to, to use a bow and arrow, so I might get into some hunter skills as well, and that would make sense. So I might do kind of like a beast master who's also a beast uh, a type build. I think that sounds kind of interesting. Sounds like it might be fun. Oh, the mine's just over there. So I'm actually not that far away. I'm able to get three more gold dust right now. Ah oh man, I gotta get into some some mining too at some point. I have to get into some what are those what are they called? Professions in WoW. In uh in 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 regular World of Warcraft, I know what do I know? Skinning Oh no, I'm not remembering right because I have a few different characters. I got another bag. Nice. Nine gold dust, baby. That's it, I got all ten of the gold dusts. Oh good, I can actually be in the map and also continue to walk at the same time. Look, my, my cursor is still going, and I can turn and reorient myself. Holy crap. No wonder, no wonder I wasn't going very fast. I basically have tried out every profession though, and wow, I enjoy them all, but I actually get a little bit of extra enjoyment out of skinning when I'm playing a character that can wear leather and then I, I learn is it tailoring that can do leather working as well that way I can kind of outfit myself I always my uh, my wife Shar has always told me that that was the way that I should try to do things if I was going to do them what do you think you're doing you little hyena bastard Am I still going the right way? Not really. Now I am. Oh, I wish there was a dash or mounts. I can hear the Headless Horseman all the way over here. 
All right, this jerk face is not in the tower where I thought he would be. He might be over there instead. Yep, I can see him now. Ooh, there's a board with a quest on it. I love getting my quests from boards. The Knoll Hogger. Oh, I like the Hogger quest. I'm okay with this. Light be with you. Go with honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. I'm ready to be a wow voice actor. All right, now I can go straight south. Shut up, my guy. Straight south will get me where I need to be to take out the hyena, the gnolls. That that would be the that would be the race. I always forget that gnolls exist, like, not in real life, but that we could use gnolls as playable fantasy races and enemy races for our homebrew tabletop RPGs and such. Like, the first ones that always, always come to mind with me is orcs and goblins. I, I, I forget about gnolls, bugbears. South. So, you know what? This might be fine. Holy crap, I get a lot of experience for, for killing gnolls. Alright, I'm feeling kind of squishy. I wonder if it's just all in my mind, or if I actually need to go get some better gear at this point, or what? Yeah, I'm at half health. <laughs> what the hell? All right, that is all the time I can spend on this at this moment. Thank you if you made it this far. I know I'm just running around playing World of Warcraft, you know, how entertaining could that be? Yay. But I really do want to stick around and try to get a cool build and actually make some progress in Classic WoW using some broke ass <laughs> awesome customized class. I think it sounds like a blast. It sounds really awesome. So that's my goal here. That's my mission. I'm not going to stop until I achieve it. Although if I'm actually paying money for a Final Fantasy sub, I may take a quick pause or alternate the two, you know, uh, every Monday. And I mean, I, I can I can always play these games outside of Monday as well. And I do play them off camera as well. But um, I don't know. I guess I just try to I just try to do everything. I try to stretch myself out paper thin. Just to, I'm this this video is full of just terrible terrible innuendos. I'm gonna go. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>